Hello and welcome back to The Reapers. So, idea for a new campaign. In fact, I hope to start it very soon. Maybe even tomorrow if I can get it up quick enough. Uh, so we've done dynamic campaigns before. Well, we've done one. We've done the coffee campaign, which you will remember a few weeks ago. And it was pretty cool. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. However, it did have some problems. It was uh, very difficult to maintain. I found it not very, the progress not very quantifiable. And um, just a whole bunch of technical problems in the background that you guys didn't see, but made it a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, so I thought, hmm, okay, well, let's try something else that's dynamic, i.e. So if you do a mission and you have an outcome, then that directly affects the next mission and so on and so on until the campaign either won or lost, basically. That's the idea of, 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 a, uh, of our dynamic campaign. So I thought, make something a bit more cheap and cheerful that we can run one or several times a month and it's just a bit easier to do. Uh, so here's my pitch to you. Metal campaign, that's the name of the campaign. The type of the campaign would be a money-based campaign, basically. In this campaign, you have a blue force, uh, or, or some blue bases in this area here, and you have some red bases. This is a red base, that's a red base, that's a red base, that's a red base. Um, and there's a war going on, basically, a, a fictitious war. Um, all around this uh, area uh, with the mountains here and all around here and all around south of the mountains here a massive ground war between red and blue and we're taking just a small part in that war now unlike the coffee campaign we don't take actual gains in territory <clears throat> so for this whole campaign basically this area is going to stay pretty much red uh, if not all the time and this is going to remain blue what's going to happen is and what's different is that it's each day so let's say we start on day one and we're given a certain amount of money to begin with we'll be given uh, the blue side are given 100 million dollars sounds like a lot of money but when you're running a dts campaign it's not that much and we come to do our day one mission and we've got a particular mission to do on day one so this day one target here battle of sepultura uh, sepultura is a town in the red occupied territory we can go to a close-up here this is a town here We've got the 101st Power Blues, which are 15 units, which are in this, in the town of Sepultura. And they're being attacked by the uh, 32nd Red Army Division from the east. Here are our coordinates of the fight. And our mission is to go and basically destroy these Red units. So it's a mission um, within day one. Okay. Uh, to do the mission we need a bunch of planes we'll have um, 12 16 20 blue guys turn up usually how we choose aircraft is I do it in the mission design I tell you which aircraft you can have and which aircraft you can't have that's not very dynamic so I thought the best a better idea would be that we have our blue base here and we can have any plane we want in DCS we can have eagles frogs hawks whatever <clears throat> but each has a price tag and you can see the price tags here um, and so we start with our hundred million dollars and we've got I don't know uh, 20 guys that want to come and fly well that means we've got to buy for that mission or, or we've got to we don't actually buy them we check them out of the of the hangars in the blue or we could say maybe we're hiring them um, and so we've got to get what planes we can get for 20 people within our hundred million dollar limit so let's say we for this particular example we take 20 f5s each f5 is, is worth five million dollars so 20 times five is 100 million so that's perfect that works out okay okay and then we go and fly our mission we take off from here we fly to sepultura um, and we do our job now the first thing to say is if for every aircraft that we get back safely to the base we get that money put back in our account because we have a running account okay and the idea of, of the campaign is to keep that account healthy if it gets down to zero and we go bankrupt bosh that's the end of the campaign that's how it works okay so if we uh, so here's a couple of examples of what could happen on day one first of all we could have all 20 of us run in um, to the target we all get shot down by red force because we're going to have our usual red force guys um, and none of us make it back and we don't do any of the mission objectives we don't earn any money uh, that means after that first day We've wasted all our hundred million dollars. We've not earned anything from doing any mission, and that's it. The whole campaign is over in one day. Okay, so that that uh, shows you what can happen. <clears throat> if we make it back, all twenty guys make it back. We get that money back at the end of the day for those aircraft. So we get those twenty F fives back. We get that hundred million back in our bank account. Okay, so that's that. That's how we retain our cash, um, and that will teach us to be conservative with our jets and fly properly. Hopefully, RTB correctly. 
Uh, now, so how do we actually make the money, though? Uh, so each day we have a mission. So this mission uh, description, help with the cast close air support at the town of Sepultura. It's paying per every red tank that we kill in the 32nd Red Army Div Armor Division, we get $1 million. For every BMP that we kill, we get uh, half a million dollars. For every blue vehicle that we kill, so every 101st power that we kill by accident, we get we uh, have a fine of minus 100 uh, 1 million dollars. In addition to that, uh, in this mission, every red aircraft that we destroy, and that is the Red 4 group, uh, because there's uh, going to be our usual four Red 4 respawning guys that we have uh, uh, taking off from one of these bases, we get 20% of that aircraft value. So if we shoot down uh, F5, say, we get 25%, sorry, we get 20% of that aircraft value, which is $1 million, I think, added to our account. Okay, so that's how we go out and earn our money. So um, another example of day one would be that we took off with our 20 F5s. We got to this area. We destroyed a whole bunch of tanks and shot down a bunch of Red 4 F5s. RTB and uh, got back with all of our F5s intact. That means we would have get our 100 million back. Plus we would have done all of this stuff here and earned about, I don't know, uh, 30 million dollars. That means the next day, day two, we've got 130 million dollars in the bank. So we've gained, we've had a net increase. And then the next day we can have, have some more tasty aircraft. Okay, that's that. In addition, there are bonus quests, bonus quests that are available in each day. Uh, these will change from day to day. So, bonus quest one for day one, rescue down chopper pilot. Um, uh, if we rescue this chopper pilot who is in the AO of Sepultura, then we get five, mi five million dollars extra. Rescue him, we have to go in with one of our choppers uh, from one of our FARPs, which will be, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I haven't made the, actually made the mission yet. Probably somewhere around here. We'd have to go in, find him, get him out safely to that FARP, okay? Uh, if uh, secondary quest is if we get some bombs on Mozdok runway that's Mozdok up there we get an extra five million bucks uh, if we destroy the May ski rail bridge which I think is that bridge there we get an extra 10 million bucks um, and we can have silly ones as well if we beat Casey Jones in an arm wrestle uh, in the metal we can get or lose uh, 200 bucks and that will be done by I don't know a d6 roll uh, odds equals we win evens equals we lose something like that okay mm -hmm. so that's that and it'll be day to day and our mission will be to try and keep our bank balance up keep it above zero if it goes to zero that's the end then we bring in the reds now the reds do not have a running balance but they, but they do have a start of day balance um, so and it's always 50% of what the blues start of day balance is uh, it's that so that they can so that the planes that they can use basically are always roughly comparable to what what we use so if we're poor at the moment and we can only afford warbirds then basically the reds can only afford warbirds if we're rich on that particular day and we can afford flankers and uh, C25Ts and eagles then Basically, the Reds will be able to afford Eagles. It means we'll have a roughly fair fight throughout the campaign. The Reds' mission is basically <clears throat> to bankrupt the Blues. It is to stop the Blues doing their mission, to cost the Blues lots of money by shooting down Blue aircraft, and so on. And if the Blues run out of money and lose the campaign, then the Reds win. And uh, and that's it, basically. Um, and the campaign will just keep on going forever and ever until the blues run out of money it could be after one day if we all get shot down on the first day we will lose the campaign or it could go on for a three years who knows no idea what's going to happen as the campaign goes on i'd like to start introducing um costs for weapons as well so every aim nine we fire every super we fire every aim seven every mark 82 we drop has a cost and maybe even gas prices and stuff like that we can start adding in so so it's all money based basically and uh, everything we do has to be planned out before the mission starts Okay, so that's that. We'd have to have a treasurer to keep a track of all of this from day to day. Uh, ideally, it will be someone within GR, uh, so it'd be nice to have a volunteer. If not, it can be um, a viewer slash supporter who can do it for us and is uh, willing to put some time in doing the treasury, working out um, all the money at the end of the day. Uh, that's it, really. The only other thing I was, I'd like to involve the viewers slash supporters a lot more. Now, there's loads of you out there. We can't have you all flying with us. We can only have, you know, 20 people per game. That's all that DCS will support. Uh, that said, we do uh, accept people for, from the public lobby at the moment. We're, we're short of staff at the moment. So we do take four or five or six people from the public lobby for every mission at the moment. So you're welcome to turn up there and try and get a spot. 
but um, I'd like to involve the viewers in a different way and I haven't figured out how to do it I was thinking maybe we could do some votes so for every day um, we could at the end of every mission I could put maybe an option whether the viewers want to vote we go for one course of action for the next day or the other course of action um, that's a possibility it has some problems because of logistics often viewers don't get to see the um, previous uh, the, the, the current day's video until two or three days after the actual flight has happened so maybe that's not so such a good idea uh, maybe the viewers could have uh, could create the bonus quests here so the the bo uh, so the viewers could say um, you know there's a bonus quest of collecting um, I don't know an Irishman from now check or something like that and you get this much money from it uh, something like that or um, the, the only thing I can really think that works at the moment is that the viewers can directly contribute <clears throat> help to our, our daily balance basically can help us get money um, I haven't really figured a way of doing that yet but maybe something like the more views we get or the more likes we get on a particular day's video uh, means the more cash you can help us raise to the campaign something along those lines <clears throat> I don't know I haven't really figured it out but if you guys have uh, viewers slash supporters have any ideas of how you think you could interact with the campaign let me know on this video and um, and if it's feasible and then I'll try and tie it in that's all I can think of saying for the moment so that's my new idea for the new campaign we'll start it soon see how it goes it may be a complete flop if so we'll adjust it and try again um, that's all I can think of at the moment so I'll hope you enjoy it and I'll see you later